First things first, why are ignorance and Christians, praying Christians, protected against the evils? Because ignorance and those who have fallen to blindness and ignorance of a religion, a metaphysical trap, are already slaves. There is no necessity of elucidating anything nor releasing them from this metaphysical prison. So imagine that as a developing metaphysician, technician of magic, when you are advancing, there is always an opposition to your advancement, asking whether you're ready, asking are you prepared, or blocking with great ignorance, anger and delusion your progress because the slaves couldn't. Now Judeo-Christianity colonized parts of the geomagnetosphere of Earth in the West with the towers and the soulets that are hooked up under the so-called heavens. They are born, reborn, spawned, respawned in a circular prison. Because they're slaves. The problem starts when you're on a path to liberation from the Dionysian tomb as a heathen initiated into mysteries. The gods, divinities, the providential goddesses toil continuously against the swamp of the lies of earth, against the swamp of Judeo-Christian lies with the Galilean liar. They attack the individuals who decide to claim more for themselves, like the ancients to become a daimon, angelibonum, demigod, with the ajna. Hindis know it, that does not require any explanation. It's the West with the Judeo-Christian propaganda, metaphysical propaganda, trying to convince you that the above is the Judeo-Christian godling and the heavens. Nonsense! It's only Earth, a small planet. The pathetic godling of the desert has nothing to do with the universe. The liberated gods, the noetic noetic gods, the cosmic gods and goddesses, the stars. This is a trap. And all those cretins and imbecile girlies saying that I was christened. Jesus saved me. They were brainwashed. They had spiritual experiences, but this is tactical magic. Crowns of thorns by the thousands, flaming hearts of Jesus by the hundreds. Soul experiences that seem like a miracle to an average idiot, backward mob. They are captured in the prisons. They get a bit from the cake, a bit of a miracle for the mob. And they think that it is all? They fall to their knees and pray like pathetic idiots. I never pray, I give commands. And I won. Obedience. Among certain worlds, in order to command. In order because I was capable of living through ordeals. And when something cannot conquer you, it starts to listen to you. Of course, the mob and the ignorant imbeciles, these brainwashed souls and so-called playing the angel, political religious idiots keep on attacking my nervous system and mine. But yet, I've won my name in the stars and amongst the gods. They even called me a titan. For years, I've been standing complete insanity, physical pain, mental torment. Plus those bloody religious idiots attacking me, trying to convince me that the religion is the only one, that the Jewish godling is the only one, that the Jesus Galilean bloody backward idiot was an illiterate imbecile is their savior. Now take that into your mind. If you want to progress in magic, in the occult, in metaphysics, if you want to be free, liberated, First, get rid of this shice Judeo-Christian belief systems. And that's only the beginning. 
because you get rid of the inhibitions of the lies. But this is the beginning of the path. I cast off Judeo-Christian lies when I was 12 years old. And since then, I continuously toiled, walked, withstood for years, engaging in tons of magical operations, ceremonies, rituals on behalf of the gods, on behalf of my own sorry ass, in order to fetter the chains. And I was successful at that. I have got a ruined life. So what? They destroyed my nerves and mind almost completely. I regained it. My dracon gods rebuilt it. And yet I stand victorious posthumously. I know where I go. I know my place. I know my domain. Mortal life is but a trifle spectacle. It's short. I wouldn't replace my personal immortalized diamond spirit for a slave house, soul slave house of Judeo-Christian liars of earth. Take a note of that and think twice before falling on your knees and praying to a Galilean imbecile and the Jewish God. Thank you.